This video was sponsored by Envato Elements. Is it possible for me to make a Hollywood level action thriller movie poster in Photoshop? In the previous episode of this series, we covered the adventure genre and that looked about like this. The action thriller genre seemed like a pretty fun next step. So today, let's see how far we get making yet another professional poster in Photoshop. Let's get started, shall we? We'll be covering a bunch of steps today, like making our own sort of logo, then adding some photos we took of ourselves and making the full composition as a whole. We first need a title, so I'm gonna ask you guys for help once again. Let me just post this story right here and I'll see what you guys come up with. Let's begin doing some research. The interesting thing about thriller and action movie posters is that there's no one particular style. They're all over the place. Adventure movies all had things in common, but it seems that this new genre will have a ton of different options and freedom to go in different directions. That's both fun and kind of scary because what makes for a good action thriller movie poster then? Just like last time, we're not aiming for a necessarily original poster, just something cool looking using the elements we learned work well in other action adventure, action thriller. <laughs> action thriller movies, <laughs> just put everything together into a nice cliche looking poster. You guys submitted a bunch of ideas, so let's go through a few of them. The slow and the curious, okay, right? When the fish gets mad, <laughs> quest for the lost Benny is, doesn't seem very original now, does it? The contingency code is actually pretty sweet, has a nice ring to it. This one though, I think is the best one. Rogue state bloodline It is very serious, but also rogue. Just it looks, it's a nice looking word. So I guess let's go with that. Let's hop up onto Photoshop and make a cool design with it. Rogue. There you go. State. Perfect. Now, obviously, this font isn't exactly, um, you know, serious. So let's try something a little bit more professional. I'm thinking maybe one of these very wide fonts could be cool. Here, something like this looks pretty sweet. Although this is maybe a bit too square, too blocky. Something like this, maybe. This is a little bit more, has some more roundness to it. I kind of like this. Now, something I've noticed is a lot of action posters have text that isn't very special. It's pretty basic, often just white or maybe just a solid color, but there isn't much going on like, for example, the adventure ones. However, just white is too boring, so let's add maybe a little bit of a bevel. Let's make it just a tad brighter in the center. Here you go. Something we could do to make this look a little bit more interesting and less standard is remove the horizontal bar on the A. This is something you see a bunch of science fiction movies do, but I think for this, like that. That is pretty cool. Now what we could try is adding a very subtle texture to it like this. Just put that in there under the red layer. Here you go. And then if we add some bevel and emboss, we can maybe try getting that nice shiny edge on it as well. Just very subtle, not too much. Maybe we can even add some tiny chips where the cracks go as if it's really damaged by it. Here you go. And ideally, we'd want to have like a subline here of something cool, something like a quote or anything. What kind of quote though? I mean, for now we can just go with bloodline like this from the original um, idea. If we find something better, we can always add it later. But for now, this is just fine. Just adds a little bit of variety in there. I love it. I may or may not change a thing or two later, but for now, let's move on to the next step. We need to have a basic concept of the movie, like a story. And I thought something like the following could be fun. Our main character, guess what, is an American retired hitman on vacation in Rome. There, he gets wound up into some large conflict involving the Italian mafia and a group of foreign terrorists. During the movie, he finds out this quarrel is much bigger than it seems on the surface and it's up to him to resolve the matter because the future of the entire world is in his hands. This way we can use both American and Italian architecture in the poster, so that's fun. Now this is what I currently have in mind. It'll be the stacked up character type concept with a few cool elements implemented. They'll all be surrounded by the Colosseum in Rome and in the background we'll have the New York skyline. Behind the characters on top there's gonna be some sort of labyrinth to give it a mystery vibe as if there's a very shady conflict going on and the lead role has to uncover the truth. We can add some more specific elements like a large plane and some helicopters maybe. Seems like a pretty solid plan. Now first, a quick word from the sponsor of today, Envato Elements. This is a place for you to get digital assets for your creations and here's five reasons why you need Envato Elements. Number one. Variety. They have tons of different libraries such as stock photos, video, templates for video, photo, web and graphic design and even sound effects all in one place. Number two. Unlimited. With a subscription you unlock all 13 million items they have to offer 
and tens of thousands of items get added every week. Number three. Broad license included. You can confidently use the assets for commercial projects if you so please, and Vado's got you covered. Number four. Affordable. With an annual subscription, you pay just $16 a month for the entire thing. Number five. Wanna get into the stuff Benny does on this channel? Video editing, photo editing, well, funny you should say that. Benny uses Envalo elements in every project he's done since. Check the link down below to get yourself a juicy subscription. Now on to the video. Okay, here we go, kind of something I ended up choosing a rather basic and simple one simply because I thought it would end up fitting the best. I cut it out using the pen tool and well, here I am, ready to go. For the other actors, this is my lineup. Sylvester Stallone is gonna be our mafia boss type character. Then we've got Jenna Ortega as the secret super spy and love interest of the main character, because you know. Morgan Freeman is the old wise veteran and finally Florence Pugh as the mistress of the mafia boss who secretly wishes to overthrow him. I have no idea how any of this makes sense. Doesn't matter, let's just continue. I customized the look of these characters a little bit to make them look somewhat unique, but it's mostly just changing colors of the clothing and that sort of thing. Nothing too special, hence we're gonna go over it pretty quickly. Now let's create a brand new document and get started. Obviously, first I put in the title we made earlier and on top of that I dumped the Colosseum photo I was gonna use. Right below, a bunch of destroyed concrete and other rubble and well, all the way in the background I put these New York buildings, even though it doesn't doesn't technically make any sense at all. Consider this an artistic choice. This movie takes place in both Italy and New York, so all good. Right above that, some different sky imagery to cover up the whole backdrop, and these would make for a nice main sort of base image. I made sure the sky appears dark on top and brighter near the horizon, and supplied a subtle blue tint to the whole thing, which would become the main sort of tone for the poster. I added some shadows on the Colosseum to really put it out there, and to the buildings in the back, I added some haze to make them look like they're a bit further away from the camera. From here, it's a bunch of tweaking, adding colors, hazy effects, lighting, to finalize this base we've got going on. I revealed the logo again and added a simple drop shadow to make it stand out more. A final touch I thought would look nice are some trees in the back, also to kind of fill up those empty spots. At this point, I decided to already add the credits and text below, so I simply reused the one from the previous episode. I changed some names and titles and well, instantly got the right thing. Why put in effort you've already done previously? <laughs> this movie will release December 32nd. The big thing in this poster, the characters. To start, I put all of them in and move them around to see what works best. Once I was happy, I begin with our boy Sylvester Stallone. I made him a tad darker and began adding some lighting to get that real nice cinematic effect. Definitely didn't look great at first, but as a whole it did end up looking okay, I guess. I increased the blue tint even further and added some darkening towards the bottom. Now essentially that's what we're gonna have to do for each uh, individual character. I'm not gonna talk you through the whole thing, but here is how that went. Between the characters, I added some hazy, smoky effects to kind of separate them and add some distance. And to match the highlights we made, I also added some on the Colosseum. Now, the final big thing, the labyrinth behind them I talked about. I thought it looked nice if it fades out to a bluish color towards the lower end, so I tried getting that gradient effect. I also actually faded it out towards the bottom to enhance that idea. On top, I applied some subtle glow to really sell it and, well, some tiny tweaks and a camera raw filter later.
Now, does this hold up if we compare it to the previous poster we did, the adventure one? No, <laughs> definitely not, not even close. I just feel like there wasn't as much potential here. But if you look at other posters within the genre, I don't know. I mean, with a few exceptions, they're kind of boring. Artistically, there's just less cool stuff you can do. Was this a failed attempt? No, it wasn't. It looks okay, but definitely not my favorite result. Maybe next time we should cover like fantasy or science fiction. There's a bunch of cool stuff you can do with that. But uh, yeah, I guess for today, that is pretty much it. If you liked this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in the next one.